Hello, I send greetings from the Grand Session and IT Committees of the Most Worshipful, Prince Hall Grand Lodge Free and Accepted Masons from the State of California. It's so pleasant when brothers from various committees can work together in unity. This presentation is an overview of the Grand Session event store. Before we get started, let's get a few things squared away. Our site visitors will arrive at our store by way of a link from the Grand Lodge website. This URL will change from the development server to the production server. This overview will consist of two parts, the site visitors shopping and checkout experience and the backend database where the committee chair or his designate will log in to manage the store event inventory. Secondly, the checkout process will be disabled after this video. Please check your email for further business related things that we need to go live. Okay, so let's go ahead over to our demo site and get rocking and popping here. Okay, so let's see. I've got a few things set up already. I've got the early registration, uh, late registration, brother to brother breakfast, bowling, and golf tournament. You know, while I was at it, I took the liberty to add a few more things because brothers are already doing this in mods. So why don't we as a grand lodge do the same thing but use an online store? So since we've got people registering for events, why not sell a couple of uh, merchandise items? We'll go over those later. Okay, so let's take a look at the early registration details. I'll click that. Okay, I see they've got, uh, let's see what, what this is going to save me. So I'll click the image there. And, okay, so if you've got a flyer, just throw one up. And I'm going to add that to my shopping cart. All right, as you can see, we've got uh, something in our cart, $75. And let's continue shopping. Let's say I want to also attend the Brother to Brother Breakfast. Click Event Details and add that to my cart. Continue shopping. And uh, let's see, how about, you know, let's go ahead and do the bowling. I'll add that as well. Continue shopping. I think I can uh, do a few more things here in my budget. I'll add that. Continue shopping. As you can see, our, our total is is calculating there for us. Now what I can do, let's go ahead and do this since this is a demo. Uh, let's say I as a site visitor have made a couple of mistakes. So let's say I really can't afford the golf tournament so I'll just remove that. Alright, let's continue shopping. Alright, uh, you know what? I need to view my card again. I don't like all these things here so let's just empty it. So I'll click on empty cart. Alright, now I need to continue shopping again. I need to uh, get my, my finances in order, so I'll, I want to do early registration. Add that. Continue shopping. Let's uh, again do brother to brother. Continue shopping. And uh, while we're at it, let's say uh, I think I like this shirt, so I'll click uh, view that there. Let me see what it really looks like. Oh, that's pretty neat. All right, I think I'll buy that. So I'll add that to my shopping cart. You know what? I'm going to change that quantity to two. I want two of them. So as you can see, we had one at a cost of $25. So I just entered two. I'm going to click the change button. And you can see it redid the calculations for us. All right, continue shopping. Let's uh, put one more item in our cart there. Uh, let's say, uh, let's see. Maybe, oh yeah, very nice. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, add that. All right. I think that's about it. So I'm going to go ahead and check out. I'll click my PayPal button here. Now with PayPal, PayPal is the king of... Uh, is the king of the merchant shopping carts. So if if our short, uh, site visitors do not have a PayPal account, 
they can pay with any credit card uh, of their choosing. They can also pay by electronic check. They can pay by bill me later. So at this point, I'm not going to complete this because uh, PayPal doesn't like me paying myself. So if they think something's up, so I'm just going to go back to our site. And uh, so that's it. That is the shopping experience and the uh, checkout experience as well. All right. Let's. Uh, by the way, once they had put in their credit card information, they'll be taken back to our site and uh, present it with a nice thank you note, and just ask them to check their email for their uh, event confirmations and. Perhaps we can do something like uh, an expedited check-in process at Grand Lodge for our craft members who have purchased the event uh, tickets online. All right. So that is that. Let's talk about the administrative process. So I'll go ahead and, and I will email you brothers your login credentials. So I'm going to go ahead and log in here. Uh, it's just a, a simple system. I, I like to keep things simple uh, because that's all we really need right at this point. So I'll click on Manage Inventory. Here you can see the various uh, store items we have and we can edit things if we need to or delete them. Let's say I needed to uh, edit the registration for early registration. So I'll click that and just make my changes here. All right, let's go back one. Let's say I needed to add a new event. In this case, I'm just going to, let's, let's see, I'm going to click on Add New Event. How about a uh, scholarship fund donation? Now, since we've got people going to our site, let's try to, you know, get them to, uh, to give to uh, some other causes. Just copy that there, put it here. You know, uh, once you start adding uh, things into the store, at this point we're not going to talk about category and subcategories. I put that there for growth because we can have, in, in my uh, opinion, sub events. You know, we can have a major event and then a sub event. So that's what the category and subcategory is for. Okay, so I've got the uh, event name or scholarship fund and a description. Put something detailed here. And if you have a flyer, just uh, find it on your PC. So I'll click on uh, Choose File. All right. And I'll add this item. All right. Let's go back over to our store and click on Continue Shopping. And if I scroll down a little bit, you can see the item that we just added. So if I wanted to donate to a scholarship fund, there it is. And someone developed a flyer for us. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and add that to my card as well. And then again, I would check out. Brothers, I think that's it. Please check your email for your login credentials, and uh, I look forward to, to working with you. Take care.